New Zealand will soon be honouring a new contingent of knights and dames. The government's bringing back the titles of sir and dame back into the honours system, titles that haven't been bestowed in eight years. Melissa Stokes joins us now live from Government House in Auckland. Melissa. Peter, it's Commonwealth Day tomorrow, a time to celebrate all Commonwealth nations, and New Zealand is marking it by going back to a very British tradition. New Zealand was going its own way. But now it's back to the future. Titles are to be reinstated back into the New Zealand honours system. You'll now have the chance to be knighted again, replacing the principal and distinguished companion of the Order of Merit. It's my view that having Sir Edmund Hillary added something to the, you know, the Ed Hillary that, that was there. We broke free from British tradition with a new honour system in 1996. It was all strictly Kiwi and the top two tiers could still take a title. Nine years ago Labour removed the titles, arguing they overshadowed the highest award, the Order of New Zealand. 85 people awarded the principal and distinguished companion of order in the past nine years can now take a title. Sir Colin Meads, for instance. The Red Shed's big boss, Stephen Tyndall, the Queen's approved the move back to the 1996 honours system. We also think the government should probably go further and introduce indigenous uh, Māori titles for people who choose to have those um, if they wish, because that is the main problem with the existing system, that it doesn't have a New Zealand accent to it. The new old honour system will be back in place this Queen's birthday. Melissa Stokes, one. So Melissa, if you're one of those 85 people now eligible for a title, how do you go about claiming it? Well, the government will be getting in touch with the likes of Colin Meads and Russell Coots in the next few weeks to find out if they're interested in taking up a title. Uh, they, they want to know maybe by June because there is a chance that they could have a special ceremony at Queen's birthday. But those 85 people, they don't need to make any rash decisions. They effectively have their lifetime to decide if they would like to become a dame or a sir. All right, thank you. That's Melissa Stokes. They're reporting from Auckland.